James 2. Favoritism forbidden. My brothers and sisters, believe in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ must not show favoritism. Suppose a man comes to your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man in filthy old clothes also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, here is a good seat for you, but say to the poor man, you stand there or sit on the floor by my feet, you have not discriminated among yourselves, oh, you have not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to become rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised those who love him? But you have dishonoured the poor. Is it not the rich who are extolling you? They are not the ones, are, are they not the ones who are dragging you into court? Are they not the ones who are blaspheming the noble name of him to whom you belong? If you are really, if you really keep the royal law found in the scripture, love your neighbour as yourself, you are doing right. But if you show favouritism, you sin and are conv convicted by the law as lawbreakers. For whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. For he who said, you shall not commit adultery, also said, you shall not murder. If you do not commit adultery, but you commit murder, you have become a lawbreaker. Speak and act as those who are going to be judged by the law that gives freedom. Because judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Faith and deeds. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such a faith save them? Suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. You believe that there is one God? Good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. You foolish person, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? Was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see that his faith and his uh, and his actions were working together, and his faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled when he says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called God's friend. You see that a person is considered righteous by what they do, and not by faith alone. In the same way, not even Rahab, the prostitute, considered righteous for what she did when she, not even Rahab, the prostitute, considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction. As the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without deeds is dead.